Ad Astra Abiska. Welcome to Genshin Impact and D&D Traveler. I'm Talon Striker, and I'm here to guide you on this commission. Today we'll be talking about Mondstadt's greatest gliding champion, Amber. But before we continue, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell button to be notified when a new video comes out. Well, Amber, why don't you say hello to her before we start? Outrider Amber, reporting for duty. Just say the word if you ever need my help. With that out of the way, I bring you all Amber in D&D. The goals for this build are as follows. You can't have Amber without her Baron Bunny. She'll, she'll need to pick that up. She also needs to be able to rain fire down upon her enemies and then some. And finally, she has to become the best glider there is. For Amber's race, she'll be a mark of making human. With this, she'll get a plus two to intelligence and a plus one to dexterity. She'll pick up the language Elvish as well. She gets Artisan's Intuition, which lets her add a d4 to any check that she makes with an Artisan tool. Maker's Gift gives Amber proficiency in an Artisan tool, and she'll take Cook's tools here. She learned a thing or two from Sara from Good Hunter. Spellsmith gives Amber the Mending Cantrip and the ability to cast Magic Weapon for free. Spell of the Mark gives her extra spells that she can pick up in spellcasting classes. Her stance will be doing standard array. Her strength is an 8 because she doesn't really need it. Dexterity will be a 13. Amber's pretty agile. Constitution is a 10. Not the best, but not the worst. Intelligence is a 15. Amber's known for, for her cunning and know-how. Wisdom is a 12. She spends a decent amount of time in the wilds as an outrider. And her charisma is a 14. I mean, have you met her? She's one of the friendliest people you'll ever meet, and adorable to boot. Amber's background is obviously going to be Outlander. She gets proficiency in athletics and survival thanks to this. She also gets an instrument, in this case it'll be a lyre, and she learns Primordial. Baron Bunny is fluent in the language of fire. Amber's personality characteristics are as follows. Her personality traits are, if someone is in trouble, I'll be there to help them even if it's as simple as a tour around the city. I watch over my friends as if they were a litter of newborn pups. Her ideals are, it is each person's responsibility to make the most happiness for the whole city. Bonds are, my home is the most important thing in my life, even when they are far from me. And Amber's a bit of a troublemaker, but she still hasn't been caught, so that's kind of her flaw. Starting out, Amber will be an artificer. At level 1, she gets proficiency in nature, perception, tinker's tools, thieves tools, and leather worker's tools. She also gets magical tinkering, which allows her to touch a tiny non-magical object and give it magical properties. Amber also gets spells. As I said before, she gets mending and magic weapon already. Here she'll pick up cantrips, create bonfire, and firebolt. Create Bonfire creates a bonfire on the ground that'll deal damage to anything that's in it. Firebolt has her hurl a mode of fire at a creature or object within range. That's basically her charged arrow shot. Ember also gets level 1 spells and she picks up Detect Magic, Fairy Fire, and Grease. Detect Magic lets her see anything magical within range, so her elemental sight. Fairy Fire outlines anything in a cube in light that helps Ember's allies attack said thing, and then Grease makes slick grease that covers the ground making it difficult terrain. At level 2 Artificer, Amber can make infuse items. This allows Amber to imbue mundane items with certain magical infusions. Here she'll make an enhanced arcane focus to make her charge shots easier to hit, repeating shot to make it easier to rapid fire her bow, goggles of night to see in the dark on those late night commissions, Lastly, she'll get a bag of holding because how else would she carry all those monster materials? She also picks up the spell Featherfall to help all those gliding newbies so they don't fall. At level 3 Artificer, Amber gets her subclass. First, she needs the right tool for the job. This lets her create other artisan's tools that she may need for any particular reason. Now that Amber has that, she can become an artillerist and get her Baron Bunny. When she becomes an artillerist, she becomes proficient in woodcarver's tools. The Eldritch Cannon, aka Baron Bunny, can either be small or tiny and has three different forms, a flamethrower form, a ballista form, or a protector form. Amber also gets artillerist spells every few levels. At this level, she gets shield and thunder wave. 
Witch Thunder Wave makes a wave of thunderous force that sweeps out from her and damages anything in its path. Shield makes a magical barrier to protect her from attacks. At level 4 Artificer, Amber gets a feat, in this case, Skill Expert. She gets the skill persuasion to make it easier to make friends. She'll also get expertise and perception to keep an eye out for danger and bump up her intelligence to make it a nice 18. She'll also pick up the spell catapult to hurl an object like say Baron Bunny at her enemies and deal damage to them. At level 5 Artificer, Amber can make an arcane firearm. Amber can turn a wand, staff, or rod into an arcane firearm. She can turn a staff into an arcane bow that can make it easier to shoot her charged shots and make them deadlier. Amber also gets access to level 2 spells. Here she'll pick up Pyrokinetics. This spell lets Amber create either fireworks or smoke for some awesome distractions. She also gets Scorching Ray and Shatter from the Artillerist spell list. Scorching Ray creates three rays of fire that hurls at a target. This mini version of Fiery Rain for now. Shatter makes a sudden loud ringing noise, painfully intense, that erupts from a point of Amber's choice in range that deals thunder damage. At level 6 Artificer, Amber gets Tool Expertise, which lets her double the proficiency bonus of any ability check that uses tools she's proficient with. Amber also gets two more infusions here. She'll get Spell Refueling Ring and Cloak of Elven. The ring allows her to regain energy to use another spell again, and the cloak makes it easier for her to sneak around enemy camps and such. At level 7 Artificer, Amber gets Flash of Genius. She can come up with solutions under pressure to give herself or someone else a bonus to their role based on her intelligence. At level 8 Artificer, Amber gets a feat. Here after a long time of practicing her cooking, she has become a chef. This means Amber's cooking can heal people, and she can make treats to bolster them too. As for the ability score increase, she'll get Wisdom, making it a 13. She'll need that 13 in a second. At level 9 Artificer, Amber gets a huge jump in power. Explosive Cannon makes Baron Bunny do more damage, and now it can detonate to blow itself up and deal damage to things around it. With Conjure Barrage, Amber throws a non-magical weapon or fires a piece of non-magical ammunition, into the air to create a cone of identical weapons that shoot forward. Elemental Burst version 1. Amber now gets the ability to glide with the fly spell now. The fly spell lets Amber give herself or another person a glider with wings in order to fly around. Then artillery spells give Amber fireball and wind wall. With fireball, she chooses a location and an explosion happens there dealing damage to anyone in the area. This is Elemental Burst version 2. Wind wall forms a strong wall of wind that rises from the ground at a point she chooses. Now that Amber has completed Baron Bunny, two different versions of her elemental burst, and her gliding, we can jump over to Ranger. With level 1 Ranger, Amber gets proficiency with animal handling. She also gets the ability Favored Foe, which lets Amber deal bonus damage to a target that she hits with a weapon attack. It also works like a mini hunter's mark. And then she gets natural explorer, which gives Amber a list of benefits for doing stuff in her favorite terrain, which in this case is force because that's what her hometown is surrounded by. Level two ranger lets Amber pick up a fighting style, which will be archery. That'll improve her damage with her bow overall. This level also gives Amber the ability to pick up some spells, those being cure wounds and fog cloud. Cure Wounds allows Amber to heal somebody, and Fog Cloud creates a fierce fog that can act as a smoke screen. At level 3 Ranger, Amber can get another bigger Baron Bunny. Here she'll become a Beastmaster and get a Primal Companion. This Primal Companion has three forms, one for land, sea, and sky. Amber's will be a, a land one. She also gets the spell Animal Friendship, which allows her to convince a beast that she means no harm. Level 4 Ranger gives Amber an ability score increase, and here she'll get a plus 2 to her intelligence. Level 5 Ranger gives Amber extra attack, so when she takes the attack action, she can attack twice instead of once. She also gets level 2 Ranger spells, and here she'll be able to get Summon Beast, which summons another Baron Bunny to help fight. 
With this, Amber's done with Ranger and can now jump back over to Artificer. At level 10 Artificer, she gets Magic Item Adept, which lets her achieve a profound understanding of how to use and make magic items. Amber also gets two more infusions. She'll get Winged Boots and Cloak of Protection. Winged Boots allows a person who wears them to fly, so basically glider shoes. Cloak of Protection gives whoever wears it some extra defensive buffs. Amber also gets another cantrip, that being Guidance, which lets Amber help someone with a task. Plus, she gets another level 3 spell, being Flame Arrows. Amber can make up to 12 arrows catch fire, this way she can use her charge attacks with her regular bow instead of her arcane bow. At level 11 Artificer, Amber gets Spell Storing Item. She can now store a level 1 or 2 spell into an item for later use. At level 12 Artificer, Amber gets an Ability Score Increase. Here she'll take a plus 2 to Dex, that way her marksmanship can get better. Here at level 13 Artificer, Amber gets access to level 4 spells. Here she'll pick up Elemental Bane and Summon Construct. Elemental Bane can afflict a creature with weakness to an element so they take more damage. In our case, Fire. Summon Construct lets us summon another absolute unit of a Baron Bunny to fight in our army of Baron Bunnies, and it can come in three different forms. Artillery spells also give us Ice Storm and Wall of Fire. Ice Storm makes a localized area where hail pounds the ground making creatures in that area try and avoid ice or take damage. Wall of Fire creates a wall of fire on a solid surface that can damage creatures on a side of it. At level 14 Artificer, Amber gets Magic Item Savant, which means her skill with magic items deepens even more, letting her use more and make them quicker. She also gets two more infusions, being Amulet of Health and Horn of Blasting. Amulet of Health can give a creature who wears it the health of a dragon. The Horn of Blasting, when blown, shoots out a blast of sound that damages anyone foolish enough to get in its way. Amber gets another cantrip called Prestidigitation, which can do minor magical tricks like instantly lighting or snuffing a fire, or making food or drink taste better or worse. Amber also picks up the spell Liam in Secret Chest. She can make a chest that can contain things for safekeeping in another pocket dimension. Adept I sure know a thing or two about making big things fit into smaller things, and I guess Amber learned from them. Level 15 Artificer will be Amber's final level. Here she gets Fortified Position. Amber becomes a master at forming well-defensed emplacements using her Eldritch Cannon Baron Bunnies. These Baron Bunnies can give allies cover from attacks and we can make two at the same time instead of one. With this Amber's Baron Bunny army is complete. I would love to see some monsters trying to attack her home now, but now comes the pros and cons for the build. Pros are that Amber has a wide variety of Baron Bunny for days. She has a ton of fire spells that can really set a forest ablaze if she wanted to, and she can make any tool she needs for any kind of job. Cons are that Amber is kind of a glass cannon. Her HP is around 100 and her AC is pretty low, so she can easily get hit if she's too close. With all of those different Baron Bunny spells and ways to attack, she can easily get overloaded with what she can and want to do. And lastly, she has some pretty bad saving throws, so avoid any big monsters with AoEs. Well, Amber isn't called Monsat's Gliding Champion for nothing, so get airborne and rain fire from above while your army deals with the ground troops. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell button to finish today's commission, and I'll see you all next time when we talk about the Divine Priestess of Watasumi Island, and also its Supreme Leader and Tactician.